Good, bad, good. I love that one. Oh my god, it's cool. Oh, I saw that. Ding a dergen. It had to have happened sooner or later. We'd get the infamous impossible quiz put on our iPhones. On the computer, some people really did think it was impossible because it had a seemingly endless amount of questions with answers that were logical, yet very subtle. To put it simply, the test was designed for the player to fail and do nothing else. On the App Store, it's pretty much the same quiz with a few additions here and there. A lot like the popular moron test, if you miss a certain number of questions, you go back to the beginning. Except no impossible quiz would be complete without missing checkpoints. That's right, if you so much as miss three questions out of the hundred plus questions, you go back to the very beginning. I can understand why no checkpoints are in here though, because they were not in the original computer edition, but it can definitely put a damper on things and really limits your chances of actually completing the test. I mean, that's what we're really paying for, right? The opportunity to complete the impossible quiz on your phone. The app overall isn't too polished and will likely remain untouched after a few attempts at beating the test, so it will not receive my recommendation and I suggest trying the original quiz before dropping the cash for this iPod edition. I've given this app 3 out of 5 stars and I've put a link in the sidebar to the original computer edition of the quiz. If you have any request for what app I should review next or you have created an app you'd like me to review, please leave a comment or video response below letting me know. You request it, I'll review it.